For some cancers, early diagnosis and prevention are nearly impossible, such as pancreatic cancer, which often metastasizes even in early stages and is challenging to treat. However, cervical cancer can be prevented in almost 100% of cases. The pap test plays a crucial role in detecting abnormal cells before they become cancerous, highlighting its importance. Recommended for every woman aged 21 and older, the pap smear is a simple procedure that collects cells from the cervix, the lower part of the uterus, to find any abnormal cells that may become cancerous. While many people confuse the pap test with the papilloma test, they serve different purposes. The pap test looks for abnormal cells, whereas the papilloma test detects the human papillomavirus, HPV. These tests are related but distinct, as an abnormal pap result often indicates HPV infection. The pap test is generally painless, though it may cause some discomfort. A negative result, indicating no abnormal cells, is the most desirable outcome. Abnormal findings on a pap test can vary. The most common and mildest is ASCUS, where atypical cells are present but their significance is unclear, indicating a non-severe lesion with cells not resembling cancerous ones. Management usually involves watchful waiting, with repeat testing every 6 to 12 months. ASCH, a more severe finding, indicates high-risk cells and a greater risk of a precancerous condition, leading to a recommended colposcopy for closer examination and possible biopsy of the affected area. Other findings include squamous intraepithelial lesion, SIL, indicating a mild precancerous condition often correlating with CIN1, where only one-third of the cervical epithelium is damaged. Follow-up testing in 6 to 12 months is common, as CIN1 lesions typically resolve without treatment. A more serious finding is high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, HSIL, correlating with CIN2 or 3, indicating more extensive damage and a higher cancer risk, requiring treatment like the loop electrosurgical excision procedure, LEP, or cryotherapy for CIN2 lesions. Cone biopsy, or conization, a more invasive method, may treat precancerous conditions or early stage cancer. Atypical glandular cells suggest a precancerous or cancerous condition, necessitating further assessment via colposcopy and biopsy. Squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma, serious conditions beyond the CIN classification, signify developed cancer and require immediate treatment, including surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Early diagnosis and treatment can lead to a favorable prognosis for these cancers.